In Victoria, angry residents have packed Morwell Town Hall to vent their frustrations about the open-cut mine fire and their fears for their future. It's been three weeks since the blaze broke out and residents say they're struggling more than ever from the ongoing exposure to smoke. Much of their anger was directed at the mine's owners and Victorian health authorities. They came in their hundreds, from the very young to the very old, wearing the masks that have become part of life in Morwell. The mine fire started three weeks ago today, but residents are still searching for answers. I think they could have done a lot more earlier, because having uh, live, lived here all your life, well, you know how things are. The truth's not being told to everybody. Yeah. Yep. This is my livelihood. I work here, I live here, my kids grow up here. I just want to make sure that they're safe, their future's safe. And they packed the town's hall to let their frustration out. They're too expensive. These people, they are criminals. Yeah. Yeah. The children of Moel are sick. The adults of Moel are sick. It has now become normal in Moel to be suffering from smoke inhalation. After the speeches, residents marched as one. Our children need to breathe. We need to breathe. What's clear from today's rally is that people in Morwell are still feeling abandoned. They're angry, they're fearful and they're looking for someone to blame. For many, that's the mine's owners. The company did not attend the rally. They get to make a profit out of this mine. With that profit comes a social responsibility and they are missing in action. The Green senator and former GP also took aim at the state government's handling of the issue, but Health Minister David Davis says the government's doing everything it can. The government will in no way scrimp or save. We will spend whatever is necessary. As for the fire itself, the Fire Services Commissioner says significant headway was made overnight reducing the fire ground. But... We've just got to make sure we hold it if the weather conditions aren't as, uh, as good on, on Tuesday in particular. As the firefight continues, the community backlash may just be beginning. Peter Carlyon, ABC News, Morwell.